Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. In today's tutorial, I actually like to talk about a form for this uh, beer bottle cap because I do find interesting indention on the side that I would like to show you the trick that I found. Are you ready? Let's get started. If you get a uh, really quick model you can get a roughly shape of about this uh beer cap uh beer bottle cap but however when i look into the detail on the reference image i do see this a little bit indention there with the skirt flare out so it's more like this way so this video i wanted to show you how to get from this into this let's starting from the scratch so we are going to starting from the front view and you can go ahead and figure out what exactly size of your model. This is for the demonstration, so it's not actually model in size. So when we draw any of these circle over here, we only have like a control point to edit, and it's not really much we can we can edit it. So we need to rebuild this curve, rebuild, and we need to have a lot more point. Let's say if you want to have a 22 bump, then you need to have a double because you need to have one going up and one going down, right? So we want to uh, turn it into the 44 uh, point for 22 bump. And we want to click OK. So once you have that, you are going to go every other one. And unfortunately, there's no other quick way. You just need to select it one by one. So I'm going to click on this one. All right, so once I have all the points to be select, I can scale them down to be something like that. All right, so then this will be your cap. Notice that it is a little bit more pointed. So that's because I have a one up and one down. If you do like to have a more rounded, maybe you need to triple the number when you rebuild it instead of just double. So I'm going to stay with this like that. And to get something really quick, we can come into the top and I'm going to draw a line starting from the zero and with this zero going up for how high I want this cap to be. And I also wanted to draw another line snapping into the quadrant right here. And we also need to draw another line going from here, holding my shift key and click over there. So those two uh, allow us to blend some curve. So let's use a blend command. We're going to blend in between here and also here. All right. And apparently this is way too tall. I'm going to bring it down something like this. Uh, like this. Hit enter. Then we'll get this curve here. And if you don't like it, you can actually draw your own. Uh, in fact, for the beer cap, you might need to have some more corner right there. So in fact, I'm going to adding, uh, insert a control point, maybe just one more here. And this one I can bring in down. So it's more corner instead of it just like slice in like this. Okay, now we have this to creating the surface is quite easy. We can use the surface command that you have a rail revolve. This is the profile. This is the rail and the axis is go from here to here and we'll get something like this. Notice that it's a little bit pointed there. Okay, so this is one way to do it. And like what I say, it is, it should be a little bit more pointed. So I am gonna come back here to do a quick adjustment. And I just wanted to bring this one a little bit more like this way to get more of the corner over there. All right, let's do one more time. We want to do a rail revolve. This is a cross section uh, uh, profile. This is the rail and you go from here to here. All right, so that's one way to do it, but it doesn't give us the indention right there. So we actually need to do a little bit more work there. Uh, how to do it is uh, we actually need to keep the bottom, for example, uh, about half of it something like this and this is the line if you look at the picture is where this line right here this line is and uh, maybe somewhere a little bit lower and you can redo it easily if you want to and we will need to split use a split command this guy will be split by this line 
All right, and then we don't need the top, right? We need to rebuild the whole top. So for we're going to reuse this curve right here. Let's go ahead to split this curve with the point and somewhere about this right there. So we got this curve uh, separated out. So we are going to use the revolve command and you click on this is the curve and the uh, axis is go from here to here. And we want to do 360 degree and then we'll get something like this. All right. Notice that there's a little bit of uh, shape is missing in between. So on the top, it may be a little bit too big and then we need to uh, bring back a little bit somewhere about this. Okay. And then uh, to creating the surface in between to get that indention look, we are going to use the command for blend surface. And we're going to blend and make sure you want to change age. Um, auto chain is equal yes you want blend in between here and here and make sure that uh, this two need to be aligned I usually don't like to have it like a too dramatic and you can kind of moving those slice bar and to decide it uh, how big of the curve what kind of uh, curve that you want it and I want to use a tangency and to double make sure everything will go right now you can add the shape if you want to like this is a shape there and it kind of feel like it's start getting a little bit twisting there so i want to add another shape in between here and here and that can help it uh, if it is twisting too much and let's click ok so now let's go ahead to join it and let's take a look on the render view and I think I'm scaled this one that's a little bit too much inside on the top. So I'm going to go back at the step. And a lot of time, I want to keep this section here is because a lot of time when you are doing a 3D model, it's not always you model the first time is correct. So you kind of need to uh, move around, uh, model it multiple times to find the best. Right. So let's go ahead to use the blend surface. And again, you want to change age. You want to blend in between here and here. I want to click OK. And also I want to make sure it's a record history so I can actually change it easier. And let's add another shape on the opposite side like where we did. And because this is a render view, it's hard to see, but it may not be straight. Oh, in fact, this is one is actually straighter. So I'm going to keep it like this one. And we may not want it to be too dramatic and want to keep it like this. All right. And then if you feel like, let's take a look on the render view one more time. If you feel like this is like too much coming out, you can pick up this one. Since we recorded history, just scale it down just a little bit. Everything else will follow, right? You need to try out the distance in between the line that you trim and also the line you split and to find the best proportion. But uh, I think overall, I might getting a little bit too uh, thin as a beer cap, but this is the way that you're getting this shape. There's a lot more surface being discussed in the membership program. For example, I just uh, released a video talking about this C cushion and how it's being uh, modified on the surface to get this ergonomic form. If you're interested in this type of a model, join the membership and you are going to see a lot more video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.